Hi everyone. Welcome to KPB Coding Hub. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to install my SQL database related product into our local mission. Let us see how we can able to do that. First, we have to download MySQL. The official website for this is nothing but from the Oracle website only we are going to download. Like how we are going to download Java software in the same style, we have to go for Oracle website. In that, go to products. Here you can see MySQL is there. Just click on this MySQL. So immediately you are going to see a pattern like this. Here go to downloads. Once if you go to downloads page, here you can see MySQL community downloads are there. Just click on this tab. And automatically what are the available MySQL products it is able to you can see here. Just click on this particular MySQL installer for Windows. Once if you click this, automatically the download is going to be started here multiple options are there try to select the second one okay because it is an offline installer it is a it is an online installer it is offline installer it is showing 428 mb just click on this download so no need to log in all these things just here you can click on no thanks just start my download so automatically your download has been started. It takes some time, just we have to wait. Okay. Now you can see here downloading completed. Just I'm clicking on show folder. So this is nothing but MySQL community installer, what we have. So now just a double click on this particular software, I mean, particular exe file. Double click on this exe file automatically our windows installer is going to be started so as you know that in the installation generally it takes some time just you need to please wait and follow my instructions so that automatically your mysql is going to be installed okay please follow the instructions so it is asking for admin permission just click on yes it is going to collect the information which is required and then automatically MySQL installer is going to start. So here you can see first page we got, okay, MySQL installer, what type of setup that you need that we have to select. Better to go for custom. Okay, better to go for custom and click on next. In this, which products are required, you need to select. I need MySQL server. In that, the latest version, I am going to select. And just click on this arrow mark, automatically it will be moved. In the application, if you want, you can install MySQL shell. So otherwise, it is not required. Just move this. And any connectors are required? No, maybe Python connector. Okay, no, no problem that we will install later. Okay. So these are the two products that you have to select. MySQL server 8.0, MySQL shell 8.0. These are the two latest versions that I am selecting. So then just I am clicking on next. Okay. After this, just I am clicking on next. Now, you can see the data directory, the path is already available, no problem. Just click on next. So MySQL server and MySQL shell, both are ready to install. Just we have to click on execute button. Automatically, the installation is going to be started. Whatever packages that are required, it will download and it will preserve in that folders yes you can see here both got completed now click on next ready to configure here we have to 
create usernames, passwords, all these things. Click on next. So here, keep all these things as it is, but don't uh, disturb these port numbers, all these things. So click on next. Click on next. Here we have to enter a current root password. Anything you can give, just try to remember that, okay? So actually my current password is root. So that's why just I typed root, sir. Okay, actually previously I installed, right? At that time, I have given the password as a root. And click on next. So no need to do any modifications. Or uh, better to go with standard system account. Okay. Just click on next. Click on next. And execute. Automatically, all the settings will be updated and it will start mysql automatically okay and we have different ways are there to execute this mysql but the normal way which we are going to use is nothing but you can open command prompt okay so here it is opening but let me open the command prompt normally we are practicing the programs here right so try to type mysql mysql is not recognized we need to set the path actually where mysql is installed in the program files so mysql folder will be there now in the program files x86 mysql folder will be there in that mysql installer somewhere yeah mysql server here bin is there right so up to this we have to copy okay this location we have to copy and you need to set the properties okay i mean you need to set the path in in environment variables for that open my computer properties click on advanced system settings in that just enter into environment variables here there is one variable is there with name path try to edit this and type your new path whatever you have copied so program files mysql mysql server 8.0 bin now click on ok click on ok click on ok sir now my path is available so now i will close this command prompt again i will try to open and how to check just type the command called mysql mysql hyphen u username is nothing but root hyphen p it will ask for password and then type root. Automatically, it will be connected. So if you want to connect with MySQL, you have to type in the command prompt saying MySQL hyphen U. Hyphen U indicates username. Username is nothing but root. Password is also root. After typing P, you have to enter, sir. Then only it will ask for password. Now MySQL prompt is ready. From here, you can create the database and you can create the tables and you can write queries on this also okay i think from this you can practice okay this is the way how to install mysql into your local mission i think you people got very clear clarity about this right thank you friends